Today, I'm going to try and name every coastal country in the world in order. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we have a really fun looking quiz today. Thank you very much to Idlevice who has made this. Um, it has 68,000 plays and change, um, which tells me that it's going to be a pretty good one. There's 141 answers, 15 minutes, and basically we have to name every country in the world um, around the coast of Eurasia and then the Americas. Um, so this should be a lot of fun. I'm going to try and do it without making any mistakes if I can. Um, the quiz link will be in the description below. Have a go yourself. Let me know how you get on. Okay, so important note, uh, once we're done with Eurasia and Africa, we'll be transported from metropolitan France to French Guiana, ignore canals, ignore bridges, and I think we start in Belgium and go northeast from there. Let's jump into it and see how we get on. Okay. Belgium. Okay. We've got Belgium already. Okay. <laughs> Netherlands uh, is next. Then we're going to go from Netherlands to Germany, to Denmark, uh, back to Germany. And then we're going to have Poland. And then we're going to have Kaliningrad, which is uh, Russia. It's a little exclave. And then we're going to go up the Baltic. So Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. And then we're going to have Russia again, uh, the St. Petersburg type area, right? Cool, and then we should go to Finland, I think. Perfect. Uh, Sweden, Norway with a massive coast, and then another massive coast where we'll have Russia. Well, it's amazing, actually. Like Norway has 25,000 kilometers, and Russia, which we think would have a lot more, is only 33,000. Shows you just how um, much uh, impact fjords and inlets can have on a coastline. Imperfect measurements, anyway. Okay, from Russia, we will go down... Uh, to North Korea, right? I think that's right. Perfect. And then South Korea, and then loop back around to the other coast of North Korea, and then we'll have a large coastline, which will be China. Excellent. Uh, okay, then we're going to go down to Vietnam. Fantastic. Um, next up is Cambodia, and then Thailand. And then Malaysia, which will loop us all the way back to Thailand, I think. Excellent. Uh, then Myanmar. And after Myanmar, there's no Indian exclaves or anything like that. So Bangladesh. And then we'll have India with 7,000 uh, 7, kilometers of coastline. Uh, and then after India, we'll have Pakistan and Iran, uh, Iraq. Uh, and then Kuwait. 499 kilometers for Kuwait. That sounds like a lot. I guess Iraq is a very small coastline, doesn't it? By its port there. Is it Basra? Is that its port? Um, okay, cool. From Kuwait, uh, there's no more Iraq. So we'll go to Saudi Arabia. And then we're going to go to Qatar. And then back to Saudi, I think. And then UAE. Perfect. And then we're going to have, this is where it gets a bit tricky because Oman has a little exclave at the top of the um, uh, peninsula where UAE is. So we'll have Oman and then we should go back to UAE. Yep, perfect. Um, I'll put that in the inlet just so you can see what I'm talking about. There's also like a series of cascading exclaves and enclaves um, in that peninsula as well, which are very confusing. Um, okay, then we're going to go back to Oman, uh, Yemen, and back to Saudi on the Red Sea. Uh, then we're going to have a couple of tiny coastlines. Uh, so the first one is going to be, I think it's Jordan, then Israel. Cool. And then, yeah, because that's the south coast of Israel. The Jordan one is where Aqaba is. And then we should go to the Sinai Peninsula and down to Africa with Egypt. This is where it starts getting a little murky for me. Uh, from Egypt, we're going clockwise. So that will be Sudan. And then across to Eritrea. Um, and then we're going to have Djibouti. Um, I have to say the coastline links do kind of help me get a sense of um, what we're looking for. Because the next one is 3,000 uh, 3, kilometers. So it'll be Somalia, which is massive. Okay, we're a third of the way through. No mistakes so far, which is fantastic. Um, but, you know, the hard part is still to come. Okay, so after Somalia, we'll have Kenya. 
and then we're going to go down to Tanzania, um, and then we will go down to Mozambique. Okay, there's no coastline for Iswatini or Lesotho, so we'll go straight to South Africa. And then we're around the Cape of Africa now, so we'll go up to Namibia, and then Angola. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because there's um, disconnected parts of Angola. So it goes DRC and then Angola again, I think, um, with the Cabinda exclave. I think that's right. Perfect. Okay. And then now this is where it gets murky, West Africa, because we've got Gabon, we've got Equatorial Guinea, and then up to Cameroon. Is that right? This is a long coastline, 885. Okay. So Angola, I'm fairly certain the next... The trouble is, though, this 885 is very large. Oh, gosh. I'm a bit worried about this one now. Um, I mean, I should be getting this right. I'm just thrown by this 885. Okay, let's, let's work a little bit backwards. So Angola, and then... Is it Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, Nigeria? No, this one will be Nigeria, won't it? Oh no, hold on, it's Republic of the Congo, isn't it? This 169. Then it should be Gabon, then Equatorial Guinea, then Cameroon, then Nigeria, then Benin and Togo. Okay, cool. So this would be... forgot all about the Republic of the Congo then. It's just dismissed from my mind. Okay. Uh, then Gabon, perfect. Then Equatorial Guinea, uh, the mainland part of it, even though the um, capital is on the main island there. And then let's go up to Cameroon, Nigeria. Good. That was one of the little clumps I was a bit concerned about. And then after Nigeria, we'll have Benin, Togo, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire. And then this is the other part of the world where I get confused. Um, it's Liberia, then Sierra Leone, isn't it? Because Liberia is the long one and Sierra Leone is the circle, I think. I hope so. Yes, okay, perfect. That's caused me consternation in the past. Okay, then after that, we're going to have... I think it goes... Guinea. Guinea-Bissau. Senegal, Gambia, Senegal, Mauritania, Morocco. Yep, that would um make sense. Okay, so... What did I say? Um, Guinea... Guinea-Bissau, cool, and then Senegal, cool, and then Gambia, and then back to Senegal, and then Mauritania, Morocco, excellent. Okay, now this is where it gets a little confusing because Spain has at least two autonomous cities on the coast of Morocco and also one peninsula which I can't remember the name of. I don't think it's very populated. Um, I believe it's connected by an isthmus, and it's different from Sueta and Melilla. Um, but this will be Spain for sure, because that's, uh, that is Spanish. Um, Morocco, Spain again, and then Morocco. Okay, so we're not including the peninsula, whose name I forget. And I'll put in the comments above, or in the overlay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, we do need to make sure we get a move on next one is going to be algeria and then we're going to have tunisia libya back to egypt um then we're going to have gaza right so this will be palestine and then israel and there's no other parts of palestine which touch the coast because it's the west bank which is inland so we should have lebanon or syria it's lebanon isn't it lebanon Cool, then Syria, and then the coastline linked here gives us away, so this will be Turkey. Okay, good, 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 we're making it there. Um, Turkey, and then we're going to go to Greece. No, hold on, that's wrong, because we need the Black Sea. Um, oh, that was close. Um, Turkey, so we're going to go to 
Uh, is that Georgia? Yes, perfect. Okay, and then from Georgia, we'll go north to Russia again with its Black Sea coast in the Ukraine. And then back along the Black Sea to Romania. And then down to Bulgaria. Uh, and then we're going to go to Turkey again. Uh, and a, a European Turkey. Great. And now we go around European Turkey to Greece. And then up to Albania. Excellent. Now this is <laughs> another fun... Um, Fun little collection of uh, disconnected countries. So from Albania, we will go north to, I think this goes Montenegro. Hold on. This little one here is, so Montenegro, Croatia, Bosnia, Croatia. Okay, that's fine. And again, I'll put on the map. Montenegro, um, what we're talking about. This part of Croatia, the 251, is Dubrovnik, and it's split by a tiny little bit of um, Bosnia and Herzegovina, so they can have sea access. And back to Croatia, which is a massive coastline, thanks to all its um, uh, inlets. And then we're going to go up to uh, Slovenia by Piran, and then Italy, which is going to be all the way around the peninsula. Cool. And then France... The four kilometers is tiny Monaco, and then back to France, and then it gets a bit easier from here. Spain, uh, I'm guessing this 12 is going to be the UK, because uh, that will be Gibraltar. Excellent. Um, makes sense to include it there. Uh, back to Spain. Whew, feeling this, I'm feeling this. Uh, Portugal, Spain again, up by the Basque country, and then France. And then I'm now in French Guiana. Okay, so I've got four minutes to do the Americas. Let's do this. So we're in French Guiana, so we can do uh, Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina. And let me just think here because it gets a bit confusing around uh, Patagonia ways. But I think, it, judging by the um, distances, it should go straight to Chile. And then up to Peru, Ecuador, Colombia... And then we're going to jump through the Darien Gap into Panama. And then up from Panama, we're going to have Costa Rica. Uh, ooh, okay, and then we're going to have Nicaragua. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to use the kilometers here again, because I get a bit confused where Honduras and El Salvador is. So this should be... Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Mexico. No, that's not right, is it? Because it'll definitely... I mean, it should be Honduras here. Yes, okay. And then we, this one is El Salvador, actually. And then we go up to... Yeah, because I don't think Mexico borders El Salvador. It borders the USA, uh, Guatemala, and Belize, I think. Um, so this one should be El Salvador, I hope. Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. And then this will be uh, Guatemala, Mexico, um, uh, USA. And then, uh, ooh, hold on here. We've got a little, little two kilometer, little sneaky one here. Um, I wonder if that's, if there's some part of the US Canadian border I'm not super familiar with. Very possible. Um, but this could only be Canada, can't it? I presume this is like... Oh, no, hold on. This is um, maybe around Washington. There's like islands and stuff. But maybe some of them are connected to the mainland, perhaps. Okay, then we should have Canada, USA again. This would be Alaska. Back to Canada with its 190,000 kilometers. Um, then back to the USA. And then back to Mexico. Okay, we're almost there. Um... Then this should be back to, this should be Belize, right? Okay, and then are we going to have Guatemala again? I think it's got another coast on the, um, let's just double check and go backwards. Uh, so this will be Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, uh, Guiana, Suriname. Okay, cool, that makes sense. So Guatemala, uh, Honduras... Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, 
Venezuela. And then let's just make sure I get these in the right order. It goes Guyana and then Suriname and then back to French Guyana, all right? Excellent. Hey, 100%. That makes me feel pretty great. Not the world's most difficult quiz, I guess, if you've um, spent a lot of time looking at maps and such. But um, still satisfying to get that right. Let me just have a quick look and see um, what that coastline in the US was. Okay, so I found it. If you go up from Seattle here, uh, you get into Canada for this little section of the population or of the border, coast, whatever. <laughs> and then you get to Point Roberts here, which is um, USA, because I guess the border was uh, delineated by um, latitude and nothing else. Looks like a fairly interesting place. Um, I wonder how immigration and stuff works there. I'm sure someone's made a YouTube video about it. I'm sure, like... Yeah, if you search it, there'll be at least a dozen videos explaining this. But um, yeah, I've got to remember that for next time. Okay, folks, until next time, if you can like the video, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe. There's a link to buy me a coffee if you'd like to. That would be amazing. Um, and yeah, send quiz suggestions my way. Any quizzes you've made yourself or any cool quizzes you come across on Sporkle or any other websites. My Sporkle username and details are in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you later. Kakite Bye.